Good morning, traders. Welcome to the uh, Bookmap Professional Trading Webinar Series. Uh, all week long, we're going to go uh, uh, have interviews here with uh, professional traders. Today, we have Walter Lessikar. Uh, he's been a trader for over 10 years, uh, and uh, for seven years, he's been uh, focusing primarily on order flow uh, and bookmap, uh, and um, uh, and takes trades uh, only in the liquid markets such as the ES, the CL, uh, and, the, and the treasuries. Um, he uh, defines his, his lifestyle or life, I'm sorry, his life defines his trading style. When he reaches his goals, he quits. A very passionate educator uh, who has created uh, lots of uh, fantastic content uh, with order flow uh, and book map. Uh, so we're uh, really pleased to have him here. Uh, Got to go over the risk disclaimer here. Trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And you can see our contact information here for Bookmap, uh, if you like. Uh, just uh, a few more things on Walter. Uh, I will put uh, his information in the chat if you want to reach out to him. He has a website here, his Twitter handle, his YouTube channel. Uh, you can reach him on Skype as well. Uh, and there's a blog interview uh, on Bookmap if you want to uh, uh, review that. Uh, really nice uh, uh, interview we have with him. And then uh, this is his link here uh, that he um, uh, offers. Uh, yeah. You can get some specials uh, through uh, Walter uh, if you click on this link here. So uh, I'm going to put this into the chat and uh, I'll do it later as well. Uh, so that uh, uh, those that came in late uh, can still access this information. So there you go. It's in the chat uh, for reaching out to Walter. Okay. And uh, thanks uh, very much for uh, for coming, Walter. Uh, let me turn it over to you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, hi, hello, hi there. Thank you for being uh, with uh, me and Bruce this morning or this afternoon, depends where you are. I will start with my presentation here, Profitable Trading with Bookmap and how I'm using it. Uh, allow me before I'm uh, starting to show you what I'm, 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 I'm planning to, uh, for this uh, short hour we are together. I'm glad to present my approach to profitable trading based on the other book reading I have learned the past years. Um, allow me to start with quotes from Dr. John Kepler. Um, in my eyes, he wrote a remarkable book about how to profit in market profile. I've picked two of his quotes. The first one is trading is not gambling or a game of chance. It is a skill and discipline that can be learned. And the second one is consistently profitable trading cannot be accomplished without a coherent understanding of the market and how it works. Um, based on my experiences, I believe uh, firmly that trading is not a game of chance. Um, I have prepared a few points for this afternoon or this uh, morning, um, I which I want to present and maybe discuss with you at the end of this presentation. I would like to say some a few words about me, then uh, why I prefer data visual visualization, um, the systematical approach I looking at every day, uh, insights into the order book and the auction. I will do a replay example. The replay ba is based on uh, the ES, uh, yesterday's ES on, from Monday the 5th of November. And um, at, the, at last, a um, few words about education as a chance. Um, in August this year, the German Traders magazine tested Bookmap and published an article about Bookmap uh, in their, in their uh, magazine. Uh, they wrote, those uh, who trade on the markets in the short term do not have it easy. They fight against professional market participants, fast algorithms, and lots of noise. In order to obtain a true picture of the supply and demand situation, it is advisable to consider the order book next to the chart itself when making a decision. The correct visualization of the order flow is the AMO. This is exactly what Bookmap has set out to do and created an outstanding tool. So far, I know um, uh, they were not paid by Bookmap for this uh, for this article they put in their magazine in August this year. Yes, it was August this year. 
allow me to say a few words to me, uh, who I am. I am not a tipping service. This It's quite important to say. My goal is to help every serious trader to get a deep and objective understanding what trading is and how it works. Um, important to say is also that I am independent, independent, uh, not paid by any organization, prop service, bank or other institutions or other companies, even not by Bookmap. Um, I'm trading on my own with my own money and uh, I see uh, trading as my profession and it's not only a hobby I'm doing now and then. Um, in the first years of my trading, I think this was around 2001, 2002, I started as everybody else following charts, indicators, some gurus which promised the best for me. And of course, you can imagine it was my money they wanted uh, and they get at the, at, at the end. Some years later, I quit f uh, this uh, non-profitable business uh, because I didn't make any profit uh, watching charts and following some indicators. Uh, and of course, I was simply disappointed. A few years later, I was in, in the UK and I visited a trading floor at, a, at an institutional bank where I learned that professionals work with price letters, with uh, order books, depths of market and so on. Completely unknown and uh, up to this point to me. This attracted me a lot, seeing how professionals are working or trading in this case, and I began to rethink my previous decision to quit trading completely. Um, luckily, at the same uh, luckily at the same time, P uh, Peter Davis launched his Jigsaw Trader, for, for nin Jigsaw Trader, excuse me, for Ninja Trader, which uh, at that point was affordable to me. I didn't understand the principle at that time, but I've felt that, uh, how to say, I, I would occupy myself with trading again. It was something I should have a deeper look at. The good message was that Peter Davis did a lot of writings, webinars, promotions, articles uh, to make uh, his order book uh, more popular. The bad message to me was that it was hard to understand, at least for me. I didn't see any shortcut to understand the order, order book overnight. Um, the point here is that uh, learning the order book is not an easygoing development. At least it wasn't for, at, at least it, wa it wasn't for me. Um, it took me a lot of time to it took me a lot of time um, and uh, there was no how to say um, structural structural approach to learn it. Uh, I couldn't find any ed educators who were able to explain and demonstrate what an order book is good for. To shorten the story, it was the beginning of a new attempt where I felt that this could be more profitable than my trading time before. Um, this was, or this is a picture of my former um, trading trading screen I had. I had a ninja trader. I had my connection to my uh, interactive brokers uh, trade worker station. And this was the jigsaw trader, which was, um, I say, a, 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 a add-on or an indicator for ninja trader. Um, leaving the history now, today we have more modern and high sophisticated platforms to bring everything together, the order book and historical data from the book. Um, this approach helps us to develop a more, how to, I would say, systematical understanding about the market. I will show on this slide why I think combining both worlds, worlds real or actual data with historical data could help to be successful in trading. Um, what we see here is the book map, book map platform I'm using every day. This is my screen or screenshot of my, my platform, of my screen here. Uh, I would like to go to the components of the order book, uh, of, of, of this platform of book map because um, book map can be Configured, configured highly flexible. That means you can adjust it to your needs as you want. But what I did is, uh, as I came from jigsaw trading, from this uh, Peter Davis order book uh, um, approach, I configured it like the jigsaw trader is, so that I have both worlds, the order book and the visual part of this platform in front of me. This, what you, what you see here, limit order book, this is this one. 
it is absolutely the same as every other uh, limit order book in the world. You have uh, my my this is what this one is configured configured like the jigsaw trader. This is the bid column. This is the ask column. I have the traded volume column here. Um, I have the so-called snapshot column on both sides. It's uh, uh, called delta column in uh, in uh, bookmap. Uh, it is the price, the traded price, the actual traded price on this side. To the other component, components, I will show it a little bit later. Now, um, putting this on the on the map, I have also a visual traded volume um, part of the screen where I see what is actually happening. I see liquidity. I see the actual traded volume here, which is also um, updated in this traded volume column. I will show you in the example how I'm uh, how I'm using it, how I'm reading it. Um, and how it can help you to, or everyone who understands how to read an other book, um, to profit of it. Then the historical data, this is this one part. Everything what is happening here is um, marked or is uh, plotted in the, in the historical part of the chart so that every decision can be made based on the historical part of the data. It is the complete recordings of historical data based on this one of this part of this order book. Uh, liquidity is one is one, the most important part because without liquidity we can we wouldn't trade or we make we wouldn't made any, make any trade. Uh, liquidity is being highlighted according the available contracts in the book on each price level. You can see liquidity in this case as support or resistance. Um, Yes, and we call it also uh, possible real support and resistant zones. We have also volume. Volume is displayed as um, big dots or small dots, dependent on the traded volume in these areas. Uh, you can zoom in into microsecond levels, or you can zoom out to have uh, one or two hours on your chart of the traded instruments or instrument you are, to, you are trading. Um, the only one indicator, really the only one indicator I'm uh, obey and I'm watching, it is the volume weighted average price. It's the daily volume weighted average price. Um, I'm watching it closely and if you understand the meaning of the VWAP and the standard institutional banks and, and other institutions are using the volume uh, weighted average price as an entry point for their activities, then you will understand that VWAP is one of the most important um, indicators uh, in the trading world. The volume profile is located here in this area. It is the complete volume profile with point of control marked as this yellow line. Uh, high volume, you can read out the high volume nodes, the low volume nodes. Um, it is how to nothing else to say that the, the volume profile is like the, that one which is teach by Dalton or Dr. Keller and others. Um, you have also this information here to read out. Is this a normal distribution day or double distribution day or whatever? You can use it in addition to make to understand what the market is actually doing and what is planning to do. And then I have. Well, we have uh, in this um, uh, on the screen the APIs application programming interface, which allows to uh, add additional um, indicators on uh, the chart. For example, this is an ATR average to range uh, for my stop um, management. Okay, um, on this screen here, I see what is happening just in time. There is no lagging information here. Therefore, I think that today it is much easier to understand how this all works together in comparison to a candle chart, for example. And that's the reason why I said before that this approach helps us to develop a more systematic understanding about the markets. Um, the reason for a systematic approach, as I understand it, is that the order book is always working the same way and it is based on the same uh, let me say, unshakable principles. It works the same on all markets worldwide. There is no difference. As 
As long as you have a two-sided auction, you will al always have the order book with the same me mechanics in it. You see here on this picture, I will come, um, I will explain it a little bit more in detail. You have the bit wheel, you have the bit uh, wheel here, the gear wheel, you have the ask gear wheel, you have the market <laughs> gear wheel, you have the aggressors who are hitting hitting the, the asks, the hitting the bits here, and everything works like a mechanism perfectly together. Um, let me show what I mean. Let's assume we are, we, let's assume we are here together to design and uh, assemble uh, a wristwatch. Um, first, we should know the principle of a watch, how it works, what physical rules are necessary for a watch to work. Um, I think I am not a watchmaker, but but I think that we need the, then the right parts to assemble all this together: the gear wheels, uh, drivers, uh, springs, as, as, and so on, and so on, and so on. And at the end, we must have the same understanding and the same language before we can design a watch. And if you take this analogy, then it it comes it it, it becomes more clear that the same principles uh, of, of building a watch or assembling a watch applies to the order book too. It's the same mechanic. We have an ask, a set, bid, we have the market uh, part here of it, and we have uh, certain ter 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 sorry, terminology um, uh, in, this, in this case. We have liquidity, where liquidity is the blood of the market. We have volume which indicates market strength and price acceptance at a certain price level. We have the order flow, which is between bid and ask, between bid, best, bid, um, best bid and best offer. This makes the wheel turns around. And by the way, uh, and besides of this, 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 this impulsive market, of this impulsive uh, blood, which is flowing through these wheels here, we have other wheels which are as well important, like absorption, which is this red one here. Uh, absorption means complete absorption of traded volume at a price level. If this happens, then something important is happening at this price level. We have to watch closely. On the other side, I've put the exhaustion wheel here, uh, which indicates that there is no interest in further trading on certain price levels, or there is no interest on, in, in, it further, in uh, other prices. We have book flipping, which shows the intentions of market agents, which direction to man manipulate the price. Uh, we also have sweepings, fast and fewer and breaking of uh, price levels, which are um, which are leading that these wheels are um, turning very fast in for 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 certain second for some seconds for for a mo moment. And last but not least, for example, it's not this picture is not complete, but at la last. Um, Last but not least, we have, I think, one of most underestimated uh, wheels here that is stacking and pulling, which means shows the dynamic, I call it dynamic of limit sides and of the on the bit side, which uh, is the snapshot column, for example, or the delta column in the order book. And on the other side, we have the stacking and pulling on the ask side as well. Now, we can, in, in, in certain market conditions, uh, and nowadays, it's a little bit hard because ES is uh, quite thin. Um, we have um, stacking pulling on the ask side, which means that the, the, which, which shows also the dynamic of the limit sides on both sides. Now, um, the order book is a mechanical approach and, and a, a firm mechanical approach or accounting mechanism of the markets. It is valid for every, as I said, it is valid for all markets. And I, I have learned it to read, to understand, and to, uh, to get a lot of information out of, of it when I'm making or when I'm planning, when I'm planning a trade, and of, of course, when I'm placing a, 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 a trade. Uh, but not every watch, as I said before, must have the same look. Every one is, every trader, everyone is responsible for his own design. But at the end, we will manufacture or assemble a watch which shows the right time, hopefully. Look here, book, as I said, book map um, is highly and highly configurable uh, in assigning different information 
on the user interface on the screen you are trading. I have organized myself to have the jigsaw-like jigsaw -like, um, order book in front of me. Um, and if, I will show shortly how I utilize the limit order book with visualization. Um, before I do that, I will come back to the auction. The auction is the foundation for every price. No auction, no trade. A few weeks ago, we had our first seminar in educating interested people for German-speaking countries based on bookmap in reading the order flow and understanding um, the, the impact on the order book. The auction was and is an important exercise in the seminar. It is a simple, oh, yes, yes, it is a simple op open outcry game. The goal is to show to every participant what it means to bid live at an auction to pay attention to the price, to make profit, to control his own emotions. Further on, um, I think to see what happens in the order book and how it is manipulated and based on that manip manipulation, and based on that manipulation, making then their own or his own decisions. And of course, um, to experience physically what we can never experience on the PC with a candle stick or similar charts in front of us, for example. The whole game is not about winning or losing. It is um, about understanding the overall concept of the auction, the open outcry, and then, um, and then uh, gradually transferring, transferring it to the order book. The results were quite interesting. Look here, we have. Uh, I, I was, I was, I was the the auction year, or auction year, or the, the how to say um, the market um, uh, the, the market matching engine here. I mean, I have this order book in front of me, and I manipulated it um, in way I, I was thinking it. Uh, it is the best to, to learn how it works. We every participant uh, got. $2,000, I mean $2,000, it, it was play money, it was uh, Hollywood money. I uh, ordered it uh, at Amazon for trading and a, a participant, participant or student could buy a contract at the traded price. Uh, yes, it was actioned, auctioned by me or the action or the matching engine. And look here, the results are quite, were quite interesting. Everyone, this were the participants here, uh, in our seminar, everyone got $2,000, play, play money, of course, uh, to repeat. And only three of them got a profit out of this, uh, of this uh, funny game. And the rest was uh, below the $2,000 here. Um, at, the out, at the end of the day, you know, the... the what we learned, what we learned, and I will show you in the next slide. At the end of the day, we, are, we do nothing but compete with, with other traders where we are selling it or buying from. Uh, selling it or buying from. The lesson is that we should be better. The lesson is that we should be better than our opponents. And that led us to the question, why are we allowed to trade? Why are we allowed to trade? I think that this is an essential question every trader should ask himself now and then. Why I am allowed to trade? We are, we all are a part of the zero sum game, of course. In order to survive, we must understand how our market works and what moves the price. During the last months, I had the opportunity to talk to a lot of interested people who are traders or want to become better traders. It'll, at least it was my impression very fast. They want to be better traders very, very fast. Questions like how uh, I got questions like how can liquidity help me to trade? Uh, what is an auction? How does it work? Uh, don't know what an order book is uh, and so on and so on. Um, I think that everyone can learn how trading works, but there are no simple solutions. I'm convinced that there are no simple solutions. We humans are naturally looking for simple solutions. That's, that's in our nature. Uh, for example, show me how uh, trading works and I will start immediately or tell me how this indicator can make me rich or similar, uh, similar discussions you will get on, on this uh, in, in, if you discuss with ongoing traders. 
Uh, my conclusion and my experience, uh, that's uh, part of my art biography, is if anyone is telling you that there is a simple solution for trading, don't waste your time and money on his promises, on his promises, um, simply run away. There's a famous movie, you know, Forrest Gump, run, Gump, uh, run, Forrest, run. That's, that's not true. It, it, means it means you have to invest a lot of time and knowledge into trading in case you're interested interested to learn more about how we react as humans in certain situations and why we act as we act i recommend reading the excellent book of danielle kahneman thinking fast and slow i think should this book should be essential part in the learning process process of every trader now as the time progresses let me come uh, to the replay example. As said, it is the um, ES um, December contract, November 5th. Let me put this on the screen. Oh, yes, I think you got it on the screen now. Um, yeah, OK. Um, I have picked I have picked only two samples. Uh, there are a lot of samples. It, it, there were a lot of samples. Uh, from yesterday's trading, um, I'm when I have time to trade because this, uh, um, yeah, the, the answering questions and so on takes a lot of time. Uh, it takes a lot of my time. Then I'm tweet. I'm, I tweet all my, or most not all, but some trades uh, on my Twitter account um, to see what I'm doing. And sometimes, from time to time, I also put my my uh, status, uh, I, I put my, how to say, my trades um, on, on the, what I did, or, or paste it on the, the screenshot. So uh, my statistics, so that I missed it, what statistics, my statistics is on the screen so that you can see what I did at the time. Um, I've, I've jumped this, I will do two samples. The first one started at 3.45 my time, I think it is, 9.45 New York time. And the second one is about absorption a little bit later on. No, this was this this was the status of this uh, of the ES uh, yesterday. It is extremely thin, as you can see in the order book. This is my order book here. To, um, okay, I don't have the laser pointer here. Anyway, this is my order book. This is the bit um, column, the ask column. This is the traded column. A very important one, and that's the mo most of what I said most underestimated gears in this mechanic. This is the delta column or snapshot column, which shows shows me uh, the pressure to the up or the, to the downside. Then uh, this is the volume profile, uh, volume profile based on the session. In this case, yeah, I can have it uh, put it on the chart session as well, and uh, I have the quotes uh, counter here, quotes counter. I, I don't want to go in detail here if we don't have the time to do that, but it acts like, like an open outcry if you're watching it and if you're following it. So this is my standard setup for Bookmap because it gives me the most, uh, the, be the best information what is uh, happening here. Now, um, I will start the replay here. And uh, when I start, uh, when I see this, um, behavior here, when I see liquidity below, we, when I see that this level is not traded anymore, I'm putting, um, in this case, in a rectangle, just as, as, as a reminder for me to see um, usually what, uh, where I am and what the price is going on. We have good support of the liquidity here and the 24 level, the 24 price level. Let me let this bit, if you, because we don't know, because we don't know what is happening next, of course, can't see the future. Uh, this acts as a good entry for a long position, of course. I have good re resistance below. Um, in my articles, I'm talking about floor and ceiling, but uh, take this as support and take this as resistance or liquidity on this 24, 25 level. Um, let's see what's going on. It might, I make it a little bit faster because of the time we have together here. Um, yes, the point here is that if you put this trade on, if you go long in this area because of the liquidity below, then it wouldn't be a loss in this case, 26, 25, 50, wherever you get a fill here, you can get one, two, three points maybe out of this trade. 
the the mob the, the the message here is the message here is that you won't get a loss here. I, I never uh, let a running um, I let, let, never let a profitable trade uh, to to stop me out. Never ever. What what you see again uh, is uh, let me get uh, a little bit forward is that uh, liquidity is vanishing here that the liquidity is cancelled at, at this point i will show you what i mean and what i'm twittering uh, what what <laughs> twittering sorry <laughs> what i put in my tweet message um no quite a nice trade here so far allow let me to extend this one please note that the liquidity was cancelled here and please note also that the liquidity is coming back here on this 24-25 level, which means we have three, uh, three more than 300 contracts, 330 contracts, 340 contracts on 24-25 sitting. And then something happens, what you can observe every day, day in and day out, is that this was um, quite a silent support for the price for the traders here above. And suddenly the uh, liquidity vanished. They canceled all the liquidity. You see, we have an extreme, extreme thin um, uh, uh, ES future here. 100 contract is nothing. 200 contracts is nothing. In normal days, we have 500, five, five, uh, 400, 500 contracts on each, on each uh, limit side then um, the price is coming back. You can also speak te technically if you are a technical analyst. This was the support. And if the price breaks through, then the support becomes resistance. Let me speed it up. Okay. This is how I uh, how I act when I, when I'm when I'm focused on trading. When I'm trading, uh, I'm trying to to mark my levels and to see what's going on. Now this was broken. I if you if if you put if you go along here, that's absolutely valid really trade. Even if your stop uh, would be stopped out here in this uh, in this area, but it is not advisable to go along when there is no liquidity. There is no support below. Go. What I want to show you, what was quite impressive, and I, I put I twitter, twittered it yesterday um, because I was short 23 something. So um, let's have a look at this area here above 27, 25, and let's have a look here on this level. I will delete the traded volume with a double click. That allows me to have a closer look at the. At, at this area 27 25 above i will make it a little bit uh, slower for us to see what is going to happen Now the price is coming back to 24.25. Um, yes, we let, let, let me let me again double click and make this uh, volume clear to see exactly what's going on to demonstrate what we can see in this level. A little, I make it a little bit slower. So the price is hovering, liquidity is coming up here. And note that the liquidity, which was before at 25.75, 25 three quarters, is uh, was lowering to 25, uh, 25, 25 one quarter. Oh, that was too that was too fast. So um, let me go back. Let me go back one second. 
Yes, that that what 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 I wanted to to show. It's impossible. It's impossible to see what ma what a market is doing if you don't have the right platform to see everything. It's you can maybe you can if you're trained. And uh, I was a follower, student of John Grady. Um, he is trading only with the DOM, only with the jigsaw to trader order book. Um, if you are trained to see that, and if, if you are focused and you stay focused, you can see a lot of uh, of movement. You can conclude your um, actions then based on the order book. But um, it is hard to me to follow the numbers flickering. So I need both parts. I need the visual part, which uh, relaxed my eyes a, a bit, and um, I need the order book to see what is really happening here. Look here, we have on the 24, 7, 24, 400, 434 contracts sitting there immediately coming in. They jumped in. They want to be hit. Let's see what is happening then. Okay, it's, it was too fast, but anyway, they have then have been taken out. And the result was that it was evident because of this liquidity following it's you can also call it maybe a kind of spoofing because they lowered the liquidity from 2575 to 250 um, and based on the high liquidity at 2724 that they want the price lower and now see what is happening they're pressing 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 in the price and there were, there were no buyers who are trying to buy this level up and um, on the other side Please watch simply visually without any reasons what is happening on, 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 on the traded volume. The traded volume is increasing, is increasing here. The red side is dominating the price movement. Let's do this a, this a little bit better, uh, faster. Okay. That I, I think I, I, I saw this uh, yesterday, 23. Now we have had here um, the liquidity. They spoofed the liquidity, the price down on, on this level, 25. They uh, press, put up the pressure on 27, 24, zero. And that was, it's of course, it happened be, uh, later. The, the, the entry was here. But it's the evidence for every trader that the price is going down. There's no chance that the price goes up at the, at, in, in, this, in this scenario, for example. And what I'm doing um, all the time, if you are following uh, my, my yeah, tweets, I'm declaring this area as business done. There's so every day so much evidence to see what is uh, what, what happens in the book, what happens in the... On the visual part on the book, and that's the, the that's the the proof that they have that uh, the t intention of the market makers was to press the pr uh, price down. So that was it, and I think um, it was the 70 area where I bought back and uh, closed my trade. Um, there are a lot of interesting behaviors if you are skilled to watch an order book on this side and to combine both worlds the order book the numerical part and the visual part together and let me show you very briefly a second uh, example it is uh, it, it happens at uh, i picked one at uh, 544 let me 544 it must be here it must be here um Yes, let's try this one. No, yeah. Well, that's, that was too fast. Let's try to go one second back. Oh, no. Only a second. And again, I will, I, I would like to Oh, I will double click in the traded volume to see actually what is happening at the 2450 level. Oh. I'm sorry for that. I got an error, Bruce. It's bad, but 
Uh, come on. Um, <laughs> luckily, let me say that. Luckily, I have. I did. Um, Yeah, maybe you have some screenshots or something. Uh... Yes, I thought I have one, but uh, unfortunately, I haven't. Um, that's that's really that's a mess. So I'm I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, uh, that's what I want didn't want to show is um, because I wanted to show the absorption, but what, uh, what which what was happening at um, at uh, five forty four my time and. Um, I think it was 9:44 your time. It is um, it is really evident how absorption works, and um, I'm sorry for that. I don't have I have prepared the screenshots for that, but I don't have the screenshots of this of this event. So that's uh, yeah, that's that's not okay. But anyway, um, what I wanted to show is uh, that the combination of an order book together with um, uh, with the visual part, it makes you stronger. It makes you more self-confident to decide what enters you. Uh, you can choose, you should choose uh, to make you a better trader, to make, make you a better confident, to make you a confident trader. Um, beside knowledge and experience, um, I think the right platform, the right platform is essential. Our advantage today is um, that we have a broad vari variety of trading platforms. I mentioned Jigsaw Trader, for example. I personally, as you saw, love to work with Bookmap. Uh, you can have your own platform. It doesn't matter. The, the most important ta part is that you are profitable uh, day in and day out. You shouldn't underestimate the data feed. I'm coming back to this, to this uh, chart here, to this uh, slide. Um, as I said, you uh, you shouldn't underestimate the quality of the data feed. It is absolutely essential if you want to objectively observe the market, and especially uh, especially with with visual platforms. By the way, the Jigsaw Trader Day Trader has also a visual part. Uh, there shouldn't be any compromises. Retail, aggregated, or slow data are not sufficient enough to understand what the market is actually planning to do. And you should know, you should experience, you should feel what the market is going to do. If you don't feel it, if you don't see it, sit on your hands and wait until you get the right signals, not only from the chart, but also from your, from your, yes, from your mind. Um, then how is the information being interpreted? Is it structured, meaningful? Does the data presented make sense in my trading environment or in my trading context? Uh, for myself, data visualiz visual visualization is of big advantage because um, I can use a systematic approach to observe my traded instruments and possibly better understand what the market is actually doing. It makes me more patient and uh, I am waiting until a level of interest appears to be watched closely as I, uh, as I demonstrated with this, the other area. If there are enough informations for me to put a trade on, I do it, I execute it. Uh, and as I said before, I think as I mentioned it before, I switched from a numerical DOM to book maps visual approach because uh, to me it's demanding watching numbers flickering and what I can't, I, I can't concentrate enough uh, over, the, over the trading day. As mentioned before, logic is key. If you know what is happening, then applying and executing comes next and the circle starts again. Uh, folks, folks, uh, I know well, uh, it is easier to talk about than executing. It simply takes time to get everything together. <clears throat> uh, with concerns, a bit advertising at the end of my presentation, we are good in time because <laughs> I couldn't show you what, what I wanted to do with absorption. Uh, we are planning two additional seminars in Germany, in Frankfurt, in December and January, uh, December 7th, 9th, December 2018, and 25 to 27th, January 20, uh, 2019, next year. You can get more information about my web website. I'm if When I have, have time, I'm writing a lot of articles about uh, uh, visual trading, about book map, how to... Um, 
how to um, not design, but how to. Um, oh come on, <laughs> I'm, I lost the word. How to configure? How to configure uh, the book map and so on. And I'm answering a lot of questions during the day over my account or my tweet or even uh, Skype. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you have questions, um, please, I'm, I'm very pleased to answer it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got some uh, questions coming in um, already. And uh, uh, guys, get your, your questions uh, ready for, uh, for Walter. Um, I, well, first off, Walter, I, I'd like to see um, uh, your uh, example. I, I think you have um, uh, some content on absorption um, from uh, another content piece that you, you put together, uh, which I thought was fantastic. Uh, and um, then uh, let's see here, uh, some questions about different markets here. Uh, you, you know, typically these uh, examples with the ES or the NQ, um, and resting orders um, are, are very different compared to, for example, the uh, currency futures. Uh, if you trade some of the currency futures, how do you look at the order book uh, and uh, how, how do you uh, uh, use bookmap? Uh, uh, we know that those markets are very different. Uh, they're heavily hedged, uh, for example. Therefore, the order flow uh, is different as well. Yes. Um I have to, I have traded the 6e uh, the euro um, for for a time. I'm looking at a book map uh, at, at, a, at a book map at the same in the same manner like ES like um, like other instruments. I have looked at, but the point with um, 6e or for, with the yen or Canadian dollar is that these markets are high uh, high illiquid or they are they have uh, they have not enough liquidity. The point here is that um, I think order book makes sense to read if you have a market who, who allows you allow, allows you to have time to read the market properly. If you have um, if you trade um, if you trade markets with uh, extremely thin liquidity, like look look at the NQ for example, um, then you have maybe five or ten contracts on a price level. It is extremely hard to follow the order book. Then, the only part I, I would like to recommend, if you try to trade 6E or 6B, is to watch where uh, where, where very huge liquidity is sitting on. It's very hard. But what what we what we we are doing in the education, we are not only talking. Um, we are not only talking about. Um, we are not only talking about. Um, Liquidity. We are talking about absorption, exhaustion. We have, we are we are defining strategies. One strategy is, for example, a reversal strategy. When the, does the reversal strategy applies? We are talking about the breakout strategy, who is trading after after me. Um, uh, I try to find solutions for this strategy. We are uh, trading um, reversal. We are find we are defining. Um, Reversal strategies, for example, um, reading reading the order book in extremely fast markets. I don't have a recording here now. Maybe you see the my screen again. I haven't restarted this. Um, yes, I have this yell here, the oil future. It's uh, it's, it's a nice market to trade. Of course, it's a little bit thicker than than other um, forex futures. If you have such an extremely thin market, I said here in Q or FTX, it's I think it's for me uh, it's hard to hard to trade. I would like then for strategies like reversal strategy. You see big volume here. The big volume is retracing. Maybe you can take this area to go long then, or to mark this area and put a long position if this uh, if you feel that the market is going on. Um, the visual part of Bookmap helps you to identify these areas and um, based on the based on the traded volume, and then uh, to mark this area and then uh, to act according to your strategy. As to summarize this, it's hard for me to trade 6E or other uh, forex market. It's possible, but then I would like to see if there's huge liquidity somewhere sitting. And you can observe it in the 6E and the euro. 
uh, also very, very often. I don't know the 6B, I, I don't know the yen, for example, because I don't trade it. Then I, uh, I switched, I switched back to, I switched back to, um, uh, because of this, I switched back to yes, S and P, soybeans, um, treasuries, ex excellent, excellent instruments to to trade. Absolutely. Let me see whether yes, you Pus, you can um, go on with the questions. I try to find the level of what I wanted to see uh, to to show the, uh, okay. the absorption. Okay, sounds great. Um, well, uh, first things. Um, uh, uh, Walter, I'm sorry. You know, apologize for the the crash that uh, that occurred. Um, this is um, uh, what well, Walter is uh, uh, testing uh, some yes. uh, add add on indicators, uh, and we're developing. Uh, uh, you, you know, a, we have a very robust API right now, and yes. uh, we're we're testing a lot of different things. The the crash we've already looked it up here, and it's related to uh, uh, you know some of the uh, uh, new. Um, uh, indicators. So uh, that's yeah. that's uh, that's the reason. Uh, I mean, because uh, Bookmap is uh, is quite uh, quite stable. Um, yes. But, uh, uh, just due due to uh, some of those things, uh, sometimes those crashes occur. Um, the uh, uh, another point, um, uh, you know, we've been doing uh, uh, some of the uh, educational webinars, uh, looking at the uh, Nasdaq E Mini for for uh, quite a number of months now. Um, and um, although I, I, I agree with you, that it's, it's very hard to read it in the order book, uh, the order flow, uh, you know, from uh, from the dome. But uh, from the heat map, uh, we found it uh, to be a very, very effective. Uh, yes. Even because uh, the vol, you know, because you can zoom out uh, and you can uh, really look at the um, levels of liquidity in the heat map. Uh, not necessarily the order book; it's moving too quickly for that. Uh, but uh, but looking at the uh, the heat map uh, can be um, uh, you know really effective. It's it's one of the benefits I I personally think uh, book book map offers uh, on that front. Yes, I agree absolutely, uh, Bruce. What you said that, that. and uh, of course I forgot that because it was a little bit stressy moment <laughs> for me. Um, I'm 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 this is not a, a normal release I'm testing here. Uh, I have a. Um, uh, development release here and that, that happens from time to time because I'm testing several APIs and several indicators um, real time and uh, that's not the, that's how to say that's not the normal way uh, bookmap reacts so uh, that it happened now so just uh, just to confirm you it's a development release uh, what I have here it's uh, it's it's not a stable release I'm working with, um, so I wanted to show the ATR other indicators, but I don't uh, we don't have we run running simply running out of time, but I agree with you if you have the NQ here and uh, you see you see this 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 liquidity on every level it's really hard it's really really hard to watch but look what is happening here look what is happening here and if you see that and that's that's what I what I wanted to say is um, uh, you have to have some, um, some uh, you have to have you have to establish a process. You have to have, uh, uh, for example, to understand what is uh, where is the big volume clusters. You see here uh, excellently that we are we, we do do have an uh, how to say an divergence here between this point and this point. We have a big liquidity up there. Now it's up to you where to enter the, pro the, the, the this level. And this is valid also for very thin uh, instruments like yen or. Uh, euro dollar or whatever pound uh, whatever you are trading the forex market it works really it, it works really reliable but the point is I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to say is you should know what you are doing you should understand that this is a big volume cluster you should understand what this liquidity means on this level here for for, for a queue and if you miss this trade if you are not short here for example then you should make a reversal trade maybe on this level. There's a lot of uh, opportunities to uh, to embrace, to, to use this, uh, this visual map here, this visual part of the book map to find excellent and profitable and low risk trades. So um, other questions? Yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, do you trade from the uh, from the bookmap uh, uh, chart there? 
No, no, I don't trade simply because I'm testing here a lot of around and I'm not sure whether this would work. You know, um, when I started, I started with Ninja Trader. My, my broker is uh, up to now, up to today, interactive brokers. Uh, they have a very old fashioned uh, platform called Trader Workstation. And I have, um, I have bought, I think, 10 years ago, whenever I can't even remember, Bracket Trader, which is a simply entry system for the TVS. And that's so robust um, because when I started with Ninja Trader 7, uh, it, uh, you, I tried to change an indicator and it broke down, it, it crashed, but whatever. So I'm running my TVS on my laptop and I'm entering my trades uh, via Bracket Trader. It's really old fashioned, but it's rock solid. So I have never had a crash or whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm not trading from either, not from, from Ninja Trader, not from uh, Bookmap and so on. But at, at the moment, uh, I, I will do so in, in the future. I'm, I'm planning that to do so in the future, but not at the moment. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see, the um, uh, some questions about uh, your... Um, uh, lessons uh, and uh, your your, uh, your course uh, are they done in English uh, or um, are they in German uh, or recorded in German? No, uh, th this was the first. This was a pilot one, but I, I don't hesitate to to if, if we get an audience about uh, it, it makes sense to have ten or at least uh, t at least ten people, ten um, interested people in this education. Then uh, we can do it easily in English. It's it's not a problem to do this in English. But but we started first in Germany because in Germany I think uh, it is. Um, for most people, hard to understand what a, uh, what an order book is and how an order book works. So it is a really uh, plain field we are playing <laughs> playing in, in that. Uh, but if there is a demand for international courses, there, there, there should be, it should be shouldn't be a problem then. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Nick here is asking about how many uh, trades you typically make a day uh, and the average uh, winning percentage. I'm doing. Uh, uh, you know, um, when I'm when I'm when I when I um, reach my goal, when I do one, two, three good trades, then I quit. Um, my motto is uh, that the my life is too beautiful to sit the whole day f uh, in front of a PC and in front of a chart and and try to make some trades or try to uh, make money. Um, it's absolutely sufficient for me to do some good profitable trades where I have fun to make them, to see that my strategy works and then I quit. I'm absolutely consequent in that. I'm going out and do some exercise, uh, whatever. There's a lot of other, uh, especially in the last weeks and months, a lot of other uh, tasks to do to help other people to understand what is going on. But I'm not a trading junkie, which is sitting all the day in front of the PC and doing my trades here. Yeah, I, I think that's a really good point. Um, I, I like that uh, very much that uh, you had written that in your bio. Uh, just a, a real nice balance between trading uh, and, uh, and life, uh, living your yes. life. Uh, really, really important uh, point. Uh, let's see here. Do you have a trading room? Not looking for a trading service, but uh, like-minded traders using Bookmap. Um, no, I don't. Um, yes, no, I don't have a trading room for now. But uh, uh, during the education, the seminar, um, the participants uh, asked for a trading room. Um, it, uh, we are thinking about, but I, from my experience, from my previous experience, I would like, and my colleague I would like to do, to have only, uh, only, only participants or members or uh, trading fellows uh, who are educated and who know, who, are no, who know what is happening and who know, uh, simply we, we want to speak the same language. And if you have one who is, we're starting with trading who don't know how an uh, order, book, order book works and what an order book is and what absorption is, what exhaustion is, and so on and so on and so on. Then it's ex absolutely disturbing. So 
our decision, my decision is if we start a trading room, then we want to have people in uh, who understand what is an out of book about, who understand the book map, who, under, who have the same terminology. So, for example, so that we are concentrating on the, on the trades. And if the trade works, to comment the trade and say what what's go what 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 was good, what was bad, and so on. But uh, not um, how to say, uh, not um, how to say to to teaching people in the trading room. That's not my goal, and it, that that won't be my goal. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see here. Um, so um, uh, about learning a book map. Um, you know, what was um, uh, some of the uh, uh, methods or like how, how did you uh, uh, learn Bookmap? How long did it take uh, to get uh, kind of up and running? And uh, what, what do you recommend for uh, uh, beginners here? Uh, I would like to recommend to beginners to first learn what how an order book works because that that what we see here in t in t in t on, this, on this display here, it's uh, um, only transferred to this area, to this visual area. I would recommend to learn what an order book is. I would recommend to um, understand what an auction, how an auction works. Maybe you can place. There is also, I think in America is an open outcry circle. You can join the circle, you can join, you can play uh, an open outcry. You will very fast then understand what an order book is good for and how it works. It's a count, it's a counted mechanism uh, for every trade which is which is done in, the, in this area. Then, if you understand this, define, uh, look at the uh, terminology like like ev ev anything else. Um, you should know what absorption is, what like, uh, uh, what exhaustion is, what book flipping and so on, spoofing, layering. There are a lot of uh, of this, these terms which should be known that you have a complete understanding what is happening here in this in this area because this what you see here with the dots and the bubbles and and this red and green lines and uh, this this area here is nothing else but what 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 is happening here in this area so if you start start understand the order book start understand the auction then you can transfer your knowledge if you understand the auction, you know what, what is happening, then you can trust trade in the order book. You can watch the traded volume. You have to, you should look at the snapshot column, what is happening then. And it, it's best visible in, in, in a very uh, high or th uh, thick markets like ES, like Treasury ZB, 10, uh, 30 years, 10 years treasuries, for example, uh, five years treasuries, of course, soybeans, whatever. Do it with instruments who are not extremely thin, like NQ or um, some Forex markets. Then if you know what is happening here, you can watch it here. And it makes it much easier then to combine, to put together all the knowledge between other book and the visual part of the book map. OK, great. Uh, question here about um, uh, what is your uh, your win ratio um, and uh, has it changed since using Bookmap? Uh, it it is yeah yes yeah, it, it has changed. It is much much better. It is much better than before because uh, uh, I'm using only I, I'm stick to my process. I stick to my um, to my uh, strategies, which is uh, which I showed before. Um, it is much, much better. I don't know what it is, uh, really. I can't say it in numbers, but it's much, much better. I'm absolutely satisfied be because let, let me show this example uh, This example here. Maybe uh, I'm, I found this, the, the time just only to show you that one. Uh, this is what, what, here, what happened here. This is only one example for, uh, for one, one short example of yesterday's ES trading. What I wanted to show is, look here. This is a classical absorption point at 20, uh, 27, 24, 50. This volume was absorbed. It is visible in the cum cumulative volume delta, for example. You see this, um, this vertical, uh, let me see, drop down or this vertical line here in the, in the bottom. Uh, you see it, 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 a very thick volume. You see it also that uh, 291 and 176 contracts are traded in 24, 25, 24, 50, for example, here. Nothing is bought, is, uh, was bought on, on, the, on the ask side. And let's uh, look a little bit further what happens then. Um, 
it's absolutely normal. You're, if you if I look at this day in and day out, it's absolutely normal that the price is going up for a moment because there are no sellers at this point. There are no sellers be, below 24, 25, and 24, zero. So let's see what is uh, what is happening here. I don't want to make it faster. Please be patient a little bit. Now we see here the um, stacking of, of liquidity, 285 contracts on the 25, 24 quarter. The price is coming back, of course, because um, you, you will learn that some of, of, the, of the players here, of the traders, are thinking, oh, the price is going down. If you look at the candle chart, uh, other charts, you will see, oh, they, that, they are thinking, okay, we have here a, a small uh, retracement, and then the price is going further down, but they don't see these levels, and they don't see these levels, and of course, they don't see what is happening in the book in this case. Have a look here. We have 63 contracts traded on uh, 2450, and this, uh, uh, this slightly, how to say, started to buy. There's another absorption. At and um, as soon as other participants look here, um, liquidity is coming up. As soon as other participants are smelling, are smelling that there is this was the end of this move. You see the absorption point. You see a slight divergence here between this uh, point here and this point. And uh, the other book is showing that buying is increasing. Buying is increasing. Buying is increasing here. Let me do this a little bit faster. So what I wanted to show here is um, it's not a perfect example, but it's a, a good example from yesterday's uh, trading. Uh, I think I was long. I was not sure. I, I did two trades. Um, it's a good example how reading the order book, how observing the volume, how observing what the volume is doing, how observing the cumulative uh, volume delta and seeing really in the order book that uh, buying is increasing. It's visual, it's visual, pre it's present, it's visual present. So for the eyes, it's easy to watch. Then uh, it makes you more self-confident, more assured, assured that uh, you did the right um, decision in trading do you do, that you are on the, on the right side of the market i think that was it right right no a good okay. nice nice example there there are a lot of examples but we don't have the time to, to go through all these examples unfortunately but anyway um uh, do you have uh, other questions uh, yeah, I mean, we're uh, over an hour here, so uh, we'll, yes. we'll uh, finish up, I think, with uh, one more question here uh, regarding the importance of the quotes delta column uh, that you had yeah. mentioned uh, earlier. Yeah. And how you uh, how you use that uh, or read that information. Um, I'm watching this information in cases in case of, of very at, at, at extreme. Let me say at extreme points because. Um, if you watch at a quote center, you see that um, that the numbers becomes red when the pressure is up. And um, this is very fast. This becoming when when a number become became red here, it is loud. Uh, it is it is similar. I compare it to an open outcry. There are people who are crying to buy. There are people who are crying to sell. For example, so I'm. Not watching is very, it's very, very closely, but I'm putting it on my chart because it, it, it gives me sometimes, sometimes it, it gives me additional information about the movement, uh, about the about the intention of the market makers, uh, what what they want to do. It's not it's not the absolute uh, how to say uh, um, indicator for me, but uh, I say it, it's an open outcry mechanism which is working for me in my in my in my. Uh, my mind and I'm watching it and to see what, what is happening really at the a, at a extreme points when the price is moving towards this uh, uh, liquidity here. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Walter. It was more uh, regarded not to the quotes column, but uh, the quotes delta column. 
Ach, okay, sorry. I'm sorry for that. I misunderstood. Sorry. Um, um, the quartz delta column, this, uh, this snapshot column here, is an partly, uh, it, extremely important. I watch it every every time when I when I see what, what is going on. Look here, it's, an, it's not the best example here, but um, uh, stop it here. You see that this is the difference between, we, have, we are trading for 59, we are trading 59 contracts at 27.30. And uh, we added, or the market added 54 contracts to this 59 contract. It's a, it's, a, it's a quite simple mechanism behind. It adds or subtracts the contract which are traded on this side, on either side, on this bid side, or on this ask side. So that means if, because this, uh, this, this flickering here, this, this changing of these numbers is so fast, uh, it's impossible to, to follow sometimes what is really going on. They can, they can cancel this 59 in, in second and add 200, for example, on, on, uh, on, this, on this price level. But the quotes delta or the snapshot column shows you exactly what is going on. What this means at the moment is that the market, or the, they are stacking, they are stacking, um, uh, adding, you know, they're st adding additional contracts to these price levels. Let's see what is going on further. It's not the best example if, uh, for, for now, but you should know that the delta column here, it's extremely important. You see there's still pressure. They are adding 60, the delta 60 to the 27.30 and, and a quarter here. Um, in last past, past weeks, when the ES was in a normal condition, you could see if they want to go up, you can see here 300, 500, 400, 500, 500, 500, and there's some, the pressure was on the upside, the pressure was on the upside, there was no chance that the price is coming back. This is the information of the, uh, of the, the delta column here, uh, or snapshot column, or whatever your uh, other instruments may, may have. Uh, it is quite important uh, information what the market is likely to do and where is, where it, uh, is it heading to. Okay, okay. Uh, I think uh, I think that's it. Um, I, I will email uh, Walter the uh, remainder of the questions here. There's not a whole lot left, um, but um, okay. uh, sorry if we uh, didn't get to it though. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, Thank you very much, Walter. This has uh, been an excellent uh, presentation on uh, understanding uh, a variety of different things and uh, what you're looking at there uh, in okay. terms of uh, really understanding uh, order book and, uh, and market mechanics. Uh, so, Thank you very much, Bruce. And um, if any questions, you can reach me via my website and I will be glad, glad to answer it as I can, when I can. Okay, all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, bye. All right, bye-bye.